today I'm finally going to do a Q&A video for YouTube. All of you guys have been asking me to do a Q&A video so you guys could finally ask some random questions to me and here it is. I did not know you guys were so interested in this kind of a video. We talk almost every day to each other on stream, like the live stream. You guys ask me questions all the time on stream. So I did not expect that much questions just for a Q&A video. That was pretty cool. First, I made an Insta story and also this I shared on my Facebook story. Here I got 52 questions. Then I also made a special channel on Discord for you all. There I got 61 questions. Like in total, that's like... Wait, <laughs> I, I'm going to take the calculator, 52 plus 61 is like 100, oh my, my brightness is too bright, that's like 113 questions, so you guys asked me 113 questions in total, I cannot answer them all, so I'm really sorry if I'm not going to answer the question, like I'm going to answer them all now, and then I'm going to edit some out, and see which one I'm going to use and which one's not. So, here we go. The first question is from Lyren. Can I be first question on Q&A? Yes, you can. <laughs> I have a lot of questions in Spanish. I'm going to do the Spanish questions now with some subtitles beneath, so you can still understand the questions. La primera pregunta en español. ¿Le estás enseñando a Jun español de Bayreal? Yo misma no, pero cuando mi madre viene, mi madre siempre está hablando español a Jun como el marido de mi madre solo habla español. Y por eso, cuando mi madre está aquí, solo habla español a Jun. Ella no habla español, pero sí lo comprende. Podemos decir que la familia habla español a Jun. Pero yo no veo a mi familia mucho. Yo veo a mi familia cada tres, cuatro meses. No, ahora hace ocho o nueve meses que no he visto mi familia. Hace tanto tiempo que no la han hablado en español a Jun. Hay en Santiago Martínez Marufo. Me pregunto. ¿Puede ser en español? Claro que sí, pregúntame. ¿Qué es lo mejor de ser mamá? Puede que sea padre pronto y lo necesite. ¿No necesito? ¿Lo necesito? No. Bueno. ¡Felicidades! Eso es lo mejor lo que te puede pasar en tu vida. Ser una mamá o ser un papá. Bueno, alguna gente no quiere ser padres. Para ellos, ellos tendrán otra cosa que es muy bonito. Si vas a ser un padre o una madre, eso es una de las más maravillosas cosas que te pueden pasar. Lo mejor de ser una madre es el amor que te dan. El amor que mi hija me da, no lo puedo explicar, es tan, tan, tan bonito. Es tuya, es tu sangre y puedes ver cosas de ti en tu hija o hijo. Eso es tan bonito. No puedo decir mucho porque puedo decir tantas cosas sobre eso, pero eso lo voy a decir. Una cosa te voy a decir, disfruta cada momento que puedas con tu hijo o tu hija, porque los momentos que pasan no van a pasar otra vez. Y... Hay tantos momentos, bueno, Jun tiene ahora 6 años y ya tengo tantos momentos con ella y todavía van a venir muchos más momentos y cada momento te lo coges en tu corazón. La siguiente pregunta me encanta. Esta pregunta es de Mimdogo. ¿Qué se necesita para bailar la bamba? Para bailar la bamba se necesita una poca de gracia. Una po... I cannot sing. Let me get the song, I'm going to sing the song. Por ti seré, por ti seré, por ti seré. Yo no soy marinero. Yo no soy marinero, soy capitán, soy capitán, soy capitán. That was a little dance break. <laughs> Um, but that's not that was not the only question because the question went on by the way wait now it's, it's only English So we started in Spanish and now it's only English <sighs> Top four of flank tank damage support well flanking well, you know that I don't really flank but for flying I really want to be able to play Eevee so let's put Eevee there so Eevee Androxus maybe because he's not that like I'm not that bad with Androxus to be honest so Androxus probably Maeve because like it's me. I'm probably a Sky too because Sky has a little bit of healing. That's for flanking. The next one is tanks. My top four tanks. Khan, definitely Khan because I love playing Khan. You guys know that. Khan, Makoa, Barrack, and oof, that's difficult. Um, for the fourth one, I'm going to take Torvald, but as a second tank. I don't like him playing him as a solo tank, but only as a second tank because of Torvald then. Then for damage, well, I've been enjoying Bomb King a lot, and some people are saying I should play more DPS, so 
bum king cassie because i just like to play cassie i don't know why but i like the bow and everything and the, the role and okay so cassie mm, why do you guys do this i hate like staying at the top of something i'm really bad at choosing stuff Well, I have to say Drogos probably because you guys have been forcing me to play Drogos a lot. So Drogos and then you guys always are memeing me that Dredge is my main. So let's just put Dredge in that top four, even though I hate Dredge. Like I don't like Dredge at all, but I'm going to say Dredge because you guys love to meme me saying Dredge is my main. <laughs> then top four of support. Well, probably a real Ying, of course. The newest champion Ayo, I've been liking her a lot. So let's put Ayo also on the list. Furia and Genos. But I also like Saras. Why can't I take five? <laughs> Next question from Osama. Why are you not playing ranked and paladins? Osama from Algeria. The main reason I don't play ranked is because I don't like the stress I get when I'm playing ranked. And I'm also like, when I play paladins, I'm always playing when I'm streaming. And when I'm streaming, I'm always playing with people in chat. If you play ranked, you cannot queue up with anyone. You need to queue up with people that you actually know they can play good. And you're not going to be like, you know, you cannot play good. You cannot enter my game. You cannot play good. You cannot enter my game. I'm not like that. I let everyone play with me. So I cannot really do ranked like that. I only do my placement matches each season and that's it. And then I stop playing ranked. That's just one stream that I play ranked and don't focus on people in chat. And I'm so sorry for that because most people come and watch me and they know that I'm going to talk to them. And when I'm playing ranked, I cannot do that because I'm so focused on the, on the whole game. I don't know if my community likes that. So I rather just play normal games and let them join my games and not focus on ranked or anything. <laughs> Next question is from Brian where are you from lovely streamer that's a question that i get a lot like a lot i think every stream i get this question a few times in one stream that's like every day so i'm a spanish girl living in belgium next question from nick monster is hi well that's not a real question but i just wanted to say hi back hi <laughs> next question is from cheetot or cheetot interesting name Donuts without the hole in the middle or with the hole? And then a laughy face. I don't know what to think about that because donuts normally always have a hole, but I have eaten donuts without the hole, and that just means you have more donut. But donuts with a hole is still like your vision of a donut, right? So I would rather eat a donut with a hole because that's the normal thing to eat. Like, those are donuts with a hole. The only reason I would eat a donut without the hole is just to eat more donut. <laughs> but then you can also just eat two donuts and then you also have more donuts. Logic. <laughs> Next question is from Bunta. Favorite Paladins champion? I don't do favoritism. This is also a question I get in every single stream. Favorite Paladins champion? What's your main? Which champion do you like best? All these questions. Guys, please. I don't do favoritism. I have a really big heart. I need to divide my love between all of the champions. Well, not all of them, because I don't really like damage and flanks, but I do love tanks and supports so much. So yeah, my main in general is just tanks and supports. So any of those champions I like. Next question is from Oli Mixriot. When did you start playing Paladins? I started to play Paladins back in 2015. Yeah, I'm an old player. Next question is from Meza and his question is, do you like my puns? Like this dude is always sending me puns. He sends me puns, written puns. He sends me voice puns, like he speaks it in and he sends this to me. He's a funny dude, seriously. Yes, I like your puns, they're very funny. And sometimes I read them and I'm like, I'm not getting them and I need to read it twice or three times. And then I'm like, oh, now I get it. Yeah, that's not on you. That's on me because I'm stupid. Next question is from Different Luis. How tall are you? I am 1 meter 53 centimeters or 5 feet. I'm a tiny woman. Next question is from Luart. What languages do you know? Speak a little of them. The language I know is English. I'm speaking that right now, so I don't have to speak that anymore. Spanish. I've already done some Spanish questions, so you can listen it there. Or let's just say, Hola, como estás? Este es español. My third language is Dutch. Ik heb geen idee wat te zeggen. Hallo, hoe gaat het? Ik heb ook een vraag in Nederlands. Stien vroeg mij nooit meer streamen of nooit meer donuts eten. Ik denk dat 
jullie mij zouden haten als ik voor donuts zou kiezen. Ik ga toch gaan voor nooit meer donuts eten, want ik hou veel te veel van streamen. Ik weet niet wat het is, maar ik vind het echt geweldig om gewoon op een knop te duwen, live gaan en tegen jullie beginnen te praten. Dit is mijn hobby. Het is super leuk om te doen. Ik ben constant met mensen aan het praten. Ik ben constant in contact met mensen. Ik ben een mensperson. Ik hou om met mensen te praten. En streamen is een heel goede manier om met mensen te praten en mensen te leren kennen en alles. Dus dat is heel leuk. Als ik nooit meer donuts kan eten, ik kan altijd iets anders vinden om te eten. Next question from Edu. What was the first color that you paint your hair? The thing is, the first time I dyed my hair wasn't me. I didn't dye my hair myself. It was my mom. I was five or six years old and then my mom bleached my hair. Because she wanted me to be lighter. Because like as you can see, I'm really dark brown. She took some oxygen water or something and she did that on my hair and my hair got lighter like to the light blonde side next question is from michael i didn't catch how old are you i'm 25 years old next question is from nova strike what do you do when you're not streaming as you know i have a job so i work i have a house to take care of i have june my kid to take care of if i have some time left i love to watch TV shows. Sometimes because I don't have that much time, I watch a TV show on my second screen and then I play a game while I'm watching a TV show or watching some YouTube videos. Like Stardew Valley I can play like that, Sims I can play like that, City Skylines I can play like that. Like there are some games you can play while watching a TV show. I try to multitask a bit because I really don't have a lot of free time. Timmy No King asks me, how did you get into streaming? Well, Actually, the community got me into streaming. You guys got me into streaming. So back in the day, three years ago, I started as a sub for Onilight. So Onilight streamed on the Paladins game channel on the stream team and he needed a sub. And every time he didn't feel like streaming or he was sick or he couldn't stream, he asked me to stream for him. I got on his PC and I streamed for him because back in the day, I didn't have a streaming PC myself. So that's why I didn't stream myself. That's how I first started streaming, but I never streamed in the name of Gloozy. I always streamed in his name, in Onilight's name. Pretty crazy, right? I got into streaming because of you guys. Because you said that I should stream on my own channel. Like, I felt really bad when you were like, come on, go start streaming on your own channel. Like, I couldn't do it because my PC couldn't handle streaming. I tried to do it a few times and the streams were so bad. They were so bad. Like, so much issues. We had bad quality, a lot of lag. The stream freezed a lot and issues like that. Like, guys, if you don't have a streaming PC, wait until you have it because people will not keep on watching you if you don't have quality. Actually, I started to stream on Twitch in my own name. But I didn't stream a lot because every time he wasn't home, I took his PC to stream on my channel. But that was like six times a year or something. And then in January, I said, I'm going to start streaming this year more because I knew I was going to get his old PC. And then didn't stream so much. But then in mid-February, I got his old streaming PC and I started to stream fully. And then my whole streaming journey began. And I still streamed on the Paladins game channel because right now I'm not a sub anymore on the Paladins game channel. I'm also on the stream team now. So that's pretty cool. I'm really happy in the place we are right now with our community. So thank you so much for that, guys. Next question is from Deathstream. How many inappropriate DMs do you get daily? Let's say it has been slowing down. You had a time that I got daily inappropriate DMs and right now it's like maybe once a week so I think that's kind of good Digma asks me how do you manage work streaming editing and being a mom well I manage don't get me wrong it's really difficult it's really exhausting ever since I've made the whole schedule that I'm trying to follow right now I'm not going to lie I'm so tired all the time the moment I go lie down in my bed I just crash I just close my eyes and I just fall asleep immediately because I'm so so tired I don't regret doing this because I really like to do this and I want to do this so I'm not going to be like no I'm going to stream less or I'm going to try less active maybe I haven't been so active on discord and everything these last few weeks I've been trying to manage everything and it's really difficult because all these changes are coming really fast to me right now and I'm still trying to manage how to do everything so I'm still managing I'm still trying to figure out how to do it 
So I really hope in a month or so it will be better and it will go better and I will be better at scheduling my time and how to use my time and all that stuff. So maybe I'll come back with that on my next Q&A. Next question is from Spyko. What's your most wanted dream? If that's a question of when I was little or right now, like when I was little, I always wanted to be a Disney princess. I think this is every girl's dream. I've also always wanted to be on Disney Channel. I even auditioned once for a TV show for one of the main roles. I had to sing, I had to act and everything. And yeah, as you can see, I didn't make the role. Of course not, because I did not have any acting experience or anything. I don't even know why I auditioned for that. I just thought like, this is my chance, I need to do it. It's really close to my town, they are holding auditions. Let's go, let's do it. And I just did it. I was 16 when I did that. I really wanted to do, and you're watching Disney Channel. I think everyone wants to do that. Um, but right now, I don't know anymore if I want to be on Disney Channel or not. I really, really hope once June is old enough and she's out of the house, I have the money to do a world travel thingy. I don't know how to explain that. But I want to travel the whole world. I've already talked about this on stream a lot. I want to travel all kinds of different countries and places. To, to look at the beautiful stuff, to taste all the foods of all the countries. Like one of the main things is the food. I want to try out food of every country, if that's even possible. So I really, really lo would love to travel the world. That's like one of my biggest dreams. I really, really hope I can do that one day. If I ever do that, I'll probably be posting it on my social media and you'll know. Good job, Lizzie, you achieved your dream. And then you can be like that and be like, yeah, girl, you did it. The question from Meteor is, oh, why do you main dredge? I don't. I hate veg. Kabotich's question is, which snack would you prefer? Can't pick donuts. I love eating chips when I'm watching a movie or TV show, so I'll go for chips. Glulex asked me, pineapple on pizza, yes or no? No. I like pineapple, yeah, but not on a pizza. It doesn't belong on a pizza for me. Paprika asks me, are you rich? Are you Disney princess or alien? Am I rich? No, totally not. I don't even have savings. And then, are you a Disney princess or alien? I'm definitely a Disney princess. Well, I can also be an alien if you want. Coley asks me, how did you meet Oni? Most of you guys know Oni or Oni Light. He's also a streamer, he's also a YouTuber. I met Oni when I was 16 in high school. No, actually, he... He friend requested me on Netlog. Netlog is like Facebook or MySpace, but back in the day, like Belgium had a platform called Netlog and he friend requested me and he was like I'm at your school so I accepted him and then we started talking and he was at my school so then I saw him also at school we walked from school to the train station and stuff like that and then we started talking and that's how I met him and that's how he became a friend and everything so I met Oni at school slash internet Netlog and the last question is from Lyron can I be last question on Q&A Yes, you can. And with this, we end the Q&A video. I hope you enjoyed this Q&A video. I had a lot of fun doing this. Sorry if your question didn't make it. I will be doing a Q&A in the future so that you can ask some questions again. Can't wait to see what you think in the comments below. Don't forget to give a thumbs up if you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my videos. Don't forget to also follow me on Twitch to watch my live streams where you can also ask me anything all the time. I will see you probably pretty soon on a stream since I stream every day except not on Saturdays. Love you all, thank you so much for all the love and support. Thank you so much for asking me questions. I really did not expect these much questions. I'm really, really happy for that. I'm really excited also for that, for if I ever do another Q&A video, because I will know that you guys will be asking me questions. So thank you so much for that. See you soon, bye.